Dr. Dale, first of all, can you just talk a little bit about uh, hormones and what are their role? We hear so much about them and, and what, what, what kind of function do they play in our body? They really um, are a huge part of how a person feels emotionally. If your hormones are dysregulated or out of balance, it affects your mood, it affects your mind, it affects even um, you know jo joint pain. So many d and your immune system. There's so many different things that are tied in with healthy a healthy endocrine system or healthy hormonal balance. So um, they are responsible for um, so many things in the human body. Then when there is a disconnect, when the feedback loop that makes all of your hormones um, uh, be produced by the body. When that feedback loop that produces hormones is disconnected, and then you, the woman or the man, either suffers mm -hmm. because they have symptoms. In a woman, it could be PMS, it could be mood swings, it could be um, menopausal symptoms, it could be just severe emotional Ish, you know, problems or feeling very weepy mm -hmm. for a woman. For a man, it could be low T, low testosterone. It could be low energy, low fatigue. So there are several um, organs and, and glands that are res in, involved with um, this feedback loop. And so we're looking at um, our glands, you know, like our, our hypothalamus, our pituitary, our thyroid. We're looking at also our pineal gland to some extent, which is right here, and it's mm -hmm. this, we call the sleep center. Like if your pineal gland is not functioning correctly, you'll have a hard time sleeping at night. Mm. Okay, and so there's a hormone related to that, which is called melatonin, mm -hmm. and this is for men or women. Okay, so. Um, and, and then the organs would be the liver, major organ that works with hormones, major or mm -hmm. organ. So we have to look at that and we have to look at as well as the pancreas, which produces insulin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to look at, there's a feedback loop called the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis, A-X-I-S. When that is disconnected, there's a hormonal issue that can also affect the neurological system. Okay, so, and, and, and in that HPA, that stands for hypothalamus pituitary adrenal. Okay, okay. adrenals are very important because they produce uh, cortisol levels. When cortisol levels get really out of balance and become elevated too high, the body is under tremendous st stress and this causes neurological health issues, okay, with memory, with so many different things. And so we need to know the endocrine system is very, very important.